P-Money and KT Million. I'm P-Money. And I'm KT Million. Our theme for today is how one lie can lead to chaos. And our supporting evidence will come from the motion picture and play The Crucible. The Crucible is back in the day when the Salem Witch Trials are going on. Ah! Our first guest of the day is the director of the movie, Nicholas Hittner. We, he is at our other studio, so we'll have to go right on over there. Let's go! Welcome to our other studio. Welcome, Nicholas Hittner. So you're the director of The Crucible, right? Absolutely. What was your inspiration for writing The Crucible? Uh, well, it was uh, during the, uh, the Red Scare, and I wanted to show how people were being foolish during the, uh, the uh, Salem Witch Trials. So you were comparing the two? Yes. Oh, Very nice. Cool. Thank you for your time, Nicholas Hittner. Thank you. Every day. Welcome back to the studio. Our next guest is Abigail from The Crucible. Welcome, Abigail. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm a huge fan of your show. We get that a lot. So, you told many lies in the play and movie. Can you tell us about some of those? Yes, one of my lies was about seeing Mary Warren make the doll. So you did see her when you said you didn't? Yes, that was a lie. Do you realize that that lie caused John Proctor to die? What? Yeah. We'll give you some time. <laughs> On to our next segment. KT Million, what time is it? Is it lunchtime? No. Oh. It's game time! Yeah! Let's go! Welcome to game time! Hi! Our game today is Hangman. To go along with the theme of the Crucible. Uh, we will pick a guest from the audience. Who would like to? Who would like to me, go? Me. Oh, yeah, the enthusiastic yeah. girl in the front. Welcome. What's your name? Worm. Nice All to meet right. you, Worm. All right. So a hint for you. We'll give to you in two minutes. Oh no. That's an R. All right. Ready for your hint? It's our only guest today that was actually hanged in the crucible. And also, he was found secretly having an affair with Abigail. Bum bum bum. P. Would you like to guess who it is? No. It's Proctor. What? No way. Ta da! Our you next win. guest is Proctor. A Bible. So I could keep my name clean and try to protect my wife. Oh, so you did to protect your family? Yes, indeed. Makes sense. All right, thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Have a nice night. And our next guest, John Proctor's wife, Elizabeth Proctor. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. So throughout the movie and play, The Crucible, you were a fairly honest person. So tell us why you decided to lie about the adultery in court. I decided to lie to protect my husband's reputation. Do you regret that decision to lie? I do regret it. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm realizing now after talking to all these people that people not only lied to create chaos, but they also lied to protect the ones they love. Yeah, they protect the ones they love and also themselves. Our next guest has visited, visited us all the way from Salem, Massachusetts. Welcome, Betty. questions for you today. I'm ready to come clean for all my actions. Ask me whatever you would like. All right. My first question is, were you actually sick when Abigail was trying to wake you? No. I was afraid of the consequences from dancing in the woods. What else can you share with us about that dramatic day? 
I can tell you that Abigail drank chicken blood. She did it in hopes to kill Goody Proctor. Wow. That is crazy. Do you have any other words for us? That is all for now. Okay. Thank you for sharing that with us, Betty. Goodbye. Have a good night. Oh. Next, we're going to introduce our guest, Paris, who is in the other studio. But unfortunately, due to airfare costs, she won't be here. But we'll make it work. See you there. Hi, I'm here, P Money, with Paris. I don't know your last name. Sorry. Nothing personal. Anyways, uh, I have some questions for you regarding your lies in the book slash play and movie. I deny so, any of this. So in the book, you said, and I quote directly, I saw a dress laying in the grass. And when Abigail questioned you, you said, it is very hard to say, I address, and I thought I saw someone naked running through the trees. You said this exactly, but then later you denied it. Why was that? Well, I do admit to lying, I guess. You have caught me in a, yeah. in a tight bundle, but uh -huh. I lied because I have a high position in the church, and I didn't want it taken away from me. I also want to protect the reputation of my niece, Abigail, and my daughter, Betty. They have lied, too. Well, that's kind of bad. I mean, if you're a high person in the church, shouldn't you be better than that? I must go to confession. Goodbye. Have a nice night. We out! Good evening, y'all! My name is... Is it recording? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it done. <laughs> Why does it look like I'm stupid wearing this dress? Why are you, Why are you here, here right now? <laughs> get out Please. the picture! What do I get to wear on my head? Our first guest is... Nicholas Hitler. <laughs> Don't wait to our new shooting tomorrow. Okay, okay. shooting. Do that. Do that. <laughs> uh, uh... My freaking hat is not there. <laughs> yeah! French hat. Yeah! What, huh? You know what it is. Like this is Hitler. Yo, yo, what's good? Hey, what's up, y'all? Always telling her. Hey, what's good? <laughs> <laughs>